Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief here recording my Wednesday message, not at 5 a.m., but 5 p.m. on Wednesday. So firstly, to everyone celebrating Diwali, Deepavali around the world, Deepavali Vartagal, all right, to you and your family. So I took my family a little bit out of town to celebrate Deepavali after visiting Dato Sri Vijay, which you saw on my Insta live session I had with him. And then I totally lost track of what day it is. And then I realized that's the beauty of financial freedom, baby, where the calendar doesn't matter, nothing matters. And, you know, this morning I woke up and suddenly I saw tons of messages from Irish, from Dorothy, all asking me, where's my Wednesday message? And I said, why? Why are they asking me, where's my Wednesday message? Then I realized it's already Wednesday. So this is your chief. If you're watching this Wednesday message, all right, it may be about an hour or two delayed, usually compared to the 5 p.m. release time that we plan every Wednesday. I'm here all geared up for match of PJ City, proudly wearing my QNET PJ City jersey. Um, and this match today is very special because a few days ago we lost one of our key players in PJ City, Rajesh. All right, uh, God bless his soul, right, that God welcomes him home, uh, leaving behind a wife three kids, nine years old, seven years old, and one and a half years old, which has now been adopted by the QI group. And uh, Datu Sriviji has given his commitment to look after Rajesh's children. We lost him to an accident. It's very sad. And today there is a match that we are playing in our home stadium. And the whole match is a tribute to Rajesh, All right, one of our star players and warriors of PJ City. Uh, the master plan has no flaws. It was a very big wake-up call for me and a lot of people. He was a young man at the peak of his fitness. Good family man. But like a single blade of grass cannot move without his will. So God bless him. Uh, and we are here to look after his family. And today's match is very important. All right, Because we are playing to win for Rajesh, not to defeat the other team. Okay, guys? Um, so this Wednesday message, I was uh, with my family for Deepavali, all right, as we see there's a confusion. Diwali is what I think they say in North India. South India, we say Deepavali. It's the same thing. It's a festival of light, all right? So I hope you guys had all your celebrations, held hands with your family, sang Kumbaya, and now it's time to get back in the zone of understanding the need to maintain and sustain the energy, the momentum that is required for you to achieve your ultimate goal of financial freedom. And I had a big realization. And I did this in one of my Wednesday message on my Instagram live. You see, a lot of people are trying to figure out what's the ultimate secret of network marketing. What's the secret of uh, formula of success that has been applied by certain groups around the world that seem to be more successful than others. Now, let me tell you, stop wasting time looking for one secret formula. Stop wasting time looking for one answer. All right. Network marketing is a multitude of of contributive measures, attitudes, actions, discipline, commitment that is required from anyone. Even if you are a brand new beginner just starting your journey or you are a veteran networker with QNET and the V and you've been building for a long time. But during this Deepavali, I realize how important it is, all right, for you, whether you are a small leader, big leader, VC, AVP, V partner, V elite leader, doesn't matter, all right? Your whole organization, whether it's two people, 20 people, 200 people, 2,000 people, 20,000 people, they follow you. And I'm saying this, all right, as Dr. Sri Vijay instilled this message, monkey see, monkey do. Let me explain to you what he meant by it, all right? It's not only what you do, but it's who you are how you think, your momentum, your attitude, your, your mojo, your energy. So I realized during Deepavali that a lot of leaders, it's a holiday, it's a festive season, so fair enough, everyone wants to spend time with their family and switch off, all right, for a little while, but it has an impact. Whether you like it or not, everything you do, how you think, how you live your life becomes the benchmark of your organization. So this is a realization that I had, that I couldn't switch off my phone. I couldn't 
take a vacation like European standard vacation where they completely sit by the beach for seven days. I am not in that position to do that because in our business, in network marketing, all right, following the principles taught to me by Japa and Dato Sri Vijay, my uplines, it is not what you teach people that matters. See, this misconception of network marketing is about teaching, training, teaching, training, 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 attend this, attend this, attend this, that you almost vomit out a vast amount of knowledge to your downlines, to the networkers, all right, thinking that this is going to fundamentally feed their need and then they're going to become successful. Then you are totally on the wrong path. Your understanding of human nature is wrong. So to the brand new people, listen very carefully. Because if you understand the main principle of network marketing now, then you're going to build it correctly. So the first rule of network marketing is called benchmarking. All right, what is benchmarking? That the whole group, your leaders, your downlines, whoever, they follow you. They emulate you. All right. They respect you. They duplicate you. They copycat you consciously and subconsciously. So sometimes dressing, one group will all have the same dress code and this and that, all right? That's okay. That's conscious duplication. But the subconscious duplication that happens somewhere in the back of your mind is what a lot of networkers take for granted, all right? So you are the benchmark, guys. That means wherever you move up or down, your whole organization moves with you. If you have a bad day, it impacts your organization. If you switch off and go for a holiday and completely switch off, no mobile phone, nothing, holding hands with your family and singing Kumbaya, your network is affected adversely, negatively. There is no room for switching off. There is no room for uh, planning a, a holiday which doesn't involve your duty as a network. Right? There is no festive season that allows you to completely switch off Whole hands, sing kumbaya, light the fireworks, dance outside your house and abandon or ignore your network even for one day. It cannot happen. Now you might be panicking and say, oh my God, chief, this is like a serious level of commitment. Yes. Right? Because you're not running a restaurant where you can put a notice and say close for two days, come back on Monday. You are running a network marketing business, cross-culture cross geographical boundaries, right? Everyone around the world is your downline. So you don't have that privilege of saying, I'm closing down my business, slowing down for two days. You do not understand the ripple effect of slowing down even for one day is so bad for your organization because you slow down, the next person slows down more, slows down more, slows down more, slows down more. And what happens? A new guy who signs up completely switches off in 48 hours and you don't even know it happened. But it happened because you slowed down. And I'm trying to explain for hundreds of times that the minute you are a networker, you become a benchmark. Knowingly, unknowingly, willingly, unwillingly, I don't care. All right? You are a benchmark. So the way you think, the way you speak, the way you act, the way you live your life, all right, be, is duplicated by your downlines, knowingly or unknowingly. Therefore, once you have chosen this path of financial freedom seriously, once you have chosen that you will follow the vision of Japa and Dato Sri Vijay and be a serious networker, then there is no room in your life for slowing down, switching off, because you are the benchmark. You slow down, everyone slows down. You know what I always say, you switch off for one day, your downlines, your leaders switch off for two days. The next level switches off for four days. The next level switches off for one week. The next level will switch off for two weeks. The next level will switch off for one month. The next level will switch off for three months. The next level will completely switch off and never return back to the journey of financial freedom. And then you are confused and say, what happened? Why are my downlines not listening to me? Oh my God, I lost so many leaders. You don't lose people only because of crisis or challenges. You lose people because your benchmark drops. And imagine this is your network. When you drop, a certain group of people drop below the bottom line and they vanish. So imagine this is your network. All right. And down here is a fast running stream of, of, of switch off stream. Okay. That pushes people away from this whole organization. Every time you drop, you push people down into that stream. All right, the new sign-ups, the recently sign-up people who will just be 
washed away into oblivion. All right? You raise your benchmark. You create more room for people who just sign up to come into the switched on world, into the proper system of networking. All right? But the problem is when you lower your benchmark, even for a minute, even for a day, even for one festive season, even though it's your cat's birthday, you do not understand the adverse negative effect. It has 100 levels down, 10 levels down, 15 levels down. So you don't have a choice on this matter. You are required, mandatory by law to stay switched on all the time. The minute you have decided to be a networker, to be a leader, to be a benchmark for your organization. All right? So this is your benchmark. The only way your benchmark must go is up and up and up. Because if you don't rise, your people cannot rise. New signups will not have a journey of hope. They will have a journey of when do I quit? You don't want that mindset. And I realized during this Deepavali that this applies equally to corporate, to network, to everyone. Now, don't get me wrong. Sitting down for two hours and having a romantic dinner with your wife or husband, that's okay. Just put your phone below the table and reply some WhatsApp. You understand? Spending time with your children are important. All right? But spend time with your children, with your downline children, or make it a kumbaya family picnic, and then sneak away somewhere and pump somebody up to raise the bar higher. You almost have to be like a secret agent sometimes in front of your family, but your priority must be your network because you are doing it because your family is a priority. Do you understand this statement? The reason why networking is a priority is because you made your family a priority. If your family is your priority, that means your main goal in life is to provide for your family, which requires you to prioritize network marketing above your family. Don't misunderstand it. Don't misunderstand my statement. All right? Emergency, run. Child sick, leave your network, go to your child. Wife needs you for an emergency, go. Mother, father needs you, go. Emergency. Not to go hold hands and sing kumbaya. You need to go hold hands and sing kumbaya. Phone on the side, WhatsApp, Instagram live with your parents, telling them I'm here with my family. We all want you to max out. Thank you for making my dream house for my mother and father possible. You understand? That's what you're supposed to do, guys. All right, because remember, you are the benchmark. And this is what I realized during my Deepavali uh, short distance trip out of town. That being a benchmark requires you to live a different life. And the sooner you embrace this, the sooner you understand this, that is not what you say, it's not about the trainings, but it's how you live, how you think. All right, the principles you carry, the value system, your mojo, your attitude, your intensity, your activity, your, your results of your weekly checks, your number of presentations you are doing, how your attitude is during a crisis, everything culminates and becomes the benchmark that your whole network wants to follow, knowingly or unknowingly. That's the only benchmark they know. You drop, they drop. You go up, they go up. You go up higher, they go up higher. You fly and then they fly, guys. That's the ultimate goal. Alright? So, wake up, smell the coffee. You're not in a traditional business where you can close your restaurant for two days and say, close for this festive season, opening up on Monday. Networking, you don't have that luxury. You will have that luxury one day when you're financially free. But right now, this is it. Pay the price consistently. Whatever festive season, whatever celebration, whatever kumbaya session, you cannot switch off. You cannot mentally switch off. You cannot abandon your network. You cannot ignore your network. You have to be constantly in communication. Do Instagram live. Send a video. Communicate. If you're having a family session, bring your leaders with their kids. Make it a complete networking picnic or Deepavali or Eid or Christmas or New Year or Chinese New Year, whatever it is. All right? Because... This is your life now. This is it. Don't be confused. If you prioritize your family, then you have to prioritize your business higher because you're doing it for your family. There's no switching off. There's on, on, and keep raising the benchmark higher and higher and higher. One inch at a time doesn't matter, but don't be stagnant. And don't ever drop. What does drop mean? Switch off for two hours. Sing Kumbaya for one week somewhere. You cannot. 
You got to manage your perception, manage your brand that you are in upline, you are switched on because your downline there who doesn't celebrate the same festive season may be confused where the hell is my upline missing the past one week. Remember this, I've learned this by watching the great ones, Japa and Dato Sri Vijay. I went for Dipawali, Dato Sri Vijay's house. It was like a networking event. Everybody was there. We spoke about the business. We spoke about the future. We spoke about dreams. We spoke about family. We spoke about the vision of Dato Sri Vijay. It inspired me. Are you guys with me? So it's time to remember you are the benchmark. Two downlines, you are the benchmark. One downline, you are the benchmark. 100,000 downlines, you are still the benchmark. And the purpose of being a benchmark is to keep raising it, raising it, raising it, raising it, so more people can rise together, guys. Love you guys.